Okay, this is a very special image. It's from Tyne and every year a radio broadcaster 3FM in cooperation with the Red Cross has a week around Christmas for getting money for the so-called silent disaster. It's uh, an illness that you won't recover from and Tyne is six years old and his favorite hobby was actually putting nail lacquer on. So for serious request, the name of the program, he tried to get 100 euros. His action within a few days were more than 2.5 million euros and at the moment even 8.6 million. So he got big into the news, a lot of uh, famous people in the Netherlands actually started doing uh, the nail thing, so really special image. Okay, so we arrived at the booth and Geim is already there. Hey Geim, how are you? Hey guys. And of course, our friends from Sony are already there. So it's still early. So we have to set up the live shoot theater and help Tom with his first photo shoot. It's going to be Nadine as a Viking. First up today, Mr. Tom Grieger. And we actually shot Nadine as a Viking. So he's going to retouch her. And very curious to see what comes out. And we also have famous people visiting professional imaging. This is Marco Bosato over there. He's a Dutch singer and also very interested in photography. Okay, Joe Carlos doing his thing with our model Rosa. Good crowds. Okay, Glyn Du is on stage and look at the crowds again. But hey, what do you expect? It's a great speaker, very engaging and a great photographer and retoucher, of course. And Vincent behind the controls. Last demo, I'm in the final slot, so I don't know if there will be a lot of people, but who knows.
Okay, back in the hotel after a great dinner and an amazing second day of professional imaging. Oh my, it was busy and the crowds were awesome. Now, yesterday I showed you the new SD card from Sony. And some people told me like, hey, that's a really fast card. That's awesome with downloading. Now, I don't want to burst your bubble directly. But if you will put it in your normal MacBook, well, this is not a normal MacBook, the older MacBook that still has an SD card reader, you won't see a lot of difference because, well, simply it tops out at about 85 megabytes per second. If you put it in a normal USB 2 reader, duh, you're not going to see any difference. A USB 3 reader, probably no difference. USB 3.1, there you're going to see a difference if the card reader supports that speed. Now, if you put it in the 6500 like this, do you see better quality? Now, do you guys? Do I look sharper? Do I look better? No, of course not, because data is data. And this camera now records at 100 megabytes a second. That's way more than enough for a normal card like this Sony 64 gigs. So why is it so important to have a card that's that fast? It's not for downloading to your computer. Now, if you shoot RAW, and you shoot a lot of series. At one point, your buffer will fill up and you have to wait. With this card, if your camera supports that system, you can, in essence, just shoot raw and then never, ever have the problem of your buffer filling up. So this is why those cards are so incredibly important. But also, for example, if you shoot 4K uncompressed video. Let me put it this way. If you want that speed in the camera, downloading to your laptop, it probably won't make a difference at all. So if you're just shooting JPEGs, don't even think about this card. But if you're shooting raw 4K material, or if you shoot raw JPEG, oh, sorry, raw image files, and you want that buffer, sports photography, or whatever, and you still want to shoot raw, with this card, you finally don't have to wait for that buffer to fill up. But make sure you check if your camera is 100% compatible. And to be honest, this is an exciting, very, very cool card. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. So please subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. Tomorrow, the final day of professional imaging. And that will mean that probably tomorrow you won't see it behind the closed doors at that point. For the very simple reason. We have to grab everything from our booth, get everything into the car, drive back home. That's about a one hour and 15 minute drive drive back because we can't fit everything in one drive so tomorrow will be very very busy but i promise you that on tuesday you will have a new behind the closed doors hey guys thank you so very much for watching again please subscribe to our channel it really helps us out and see you again in the next episode of behind the closed doors bye guys